Well, good day, guys, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Velas Blanco. Velas Blanco. It's been a few days since we left the comforts of the hot tub and the three little doggies. I'm missing them quite a lot, actually. Yeah. So we just hunkered down in the little village down below, Velas Rubio. Rubio, yeah, which was really nice, really actually. Nice, actually really yeah. nice been there for a couple of days, got a library, so we got a lot of work done. We may be the only ones here. And the reason we've come here is to see a 16th century castle which I don't think there's anything in it. I think it's just ruins and I believe it's free. So fingers crossed. Um, but we thought we'd head down into the little village first and maybe see if we can find a coffee and a tostada. Coffee and a tostada, get me up in the mood for Castillo's. Oh, I just swallowed a fly. That serves you right for slagging off Castillo, which are really good fun. <laughs> Goodness me, the chances of us finding our way back to the van is... I'm not looking forward to the steep ascent as well, back to the castle. I mean, this is just a little rabbit warren of... Do not, whatever you do, do not bring your van in here. <laughs> you never get it out. Oh, might be a bit more bustling down here. And by bustling, I mean two blokes and a cat or something. It might even be the promise of coffee. Quite a few places for sale. Could you live somewhere like this? Nicola's doing that all important, where's the nearest coffee shop? She hasn't done her spinny spinny thing yet, so we should be able to find it. Famous last words. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Do we know where we're going? No, I'm completely lost. But I think we go this way, I think. Why is it not bigger? <laughs> we're still talking over the map. <laughs> Amazing views of the castle from here. Really stunning. This village is beautiful. Oh, really, really nice. Yeah, come here, definitely come here. But it's hard to find the castle. <laughs> I've gone wrong. The elephant in the room. <laughs> I wish there was an elephant, I'm hungry enough to eat it. <laughs> Sorry for your view, vegetarians. Vegetarians? Anyway. Classic. That's a good word, vegetarian. Vigot no, yes, I'm getting, I need more tea, coffee. I think we're back up here. Hey, bingo, she brought us to the coffee place. Let's go get some. Nicola learned a new Spanish word. Melocotón, peach. The guy was, I was asked for a tostada and I wanted orange, but they didn't have it. So it was strawberry or peach, but I could not understand. So I had to use Google Translate and it and I, and really I, well. thought, I thought he said fresca as in fresh. I thought, does he mean toasted or not toasted? And we were all just looking at each other. So God bless Google and all who translate inside you. This is the first time we come somewhere where there's literally been no English spoken, so. And it's really good. That's exactly what you want. Yeah. Whereas where we were doing the dog sit, it was everybody very, spoke it. It was very difficult to speak Spanish and someone <laughs> to actually understand you. You do realize though how bad us English are at languages. Terrible. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> right. Although, I'm not so embarrassed that I won't buy a cake to take away from here as well because they look incredible. They do look right. really good. Right, time to enjoy some coffee and some tostada. tostada. hopefully with peach jam. Well, that was a very nice coffee, although I seem to have over-ordered over on the whole chocolate croissant front. I'm now wired with sugar. We actually met another English couple in there as well who have lived in Spain for 15 years and have lived in this little village for a year and a half. Right, well, we're going to make our way back through the village, make our way back up through the little tiny streets and go visit the castle. <laughs> Well, we've arrived at the castle and they must have heard Nicholas coming. This is my favourite type of castle. You just wander around on your own, totally free. You don't even have to read anything, which will please Nigel. Um. You don't sound like the village idiot. <laughs> and um, yeah, I like them the older. I think this is 16th century, so one of my favourite periods. 
I'm sounding really old. But I, I, I gave up at history. I gave up history at school. And you gave what, up English earlier. Okay. And what I would say to teachers is, when you're age 13 and you're having to pick your O levels, hang on, GCSEs, isn't it now? That's how old I am. Um, do not teach the Industrial Revolution in that year because it put me off history and history is one of my favourite subjects now and I'm gutted that I gave it up. So please, teachers, don't do it. Hang on a minute, Nicola. I missold it, it does have stuff to read. Lots of stuff to read. But it's in Spanish. So you're let off the hook. Silver lining. And I say all free as well. And I would say that this is how it looked back in the day, but to be honest, it kind of looks like this today as well. They are actually doing some work at the moment on it, so they're obviously keeping it quite restored. Up we go. Something tells me these stairs weren't here back in the 16th <laughs> century. I'm hoping this wasn't where they like putting the heads off. And that's why there's only bodies here. Although I seem to think they have a little bit of an issue with their artwork. He seems to be carrying an iPhone. Guess who bashed her head on the way out the door? That really hurt. <laughs> if this big lumbering jalopy can get out that door, you should be able to as well. I think I was not paying attention. Well, that's probably knocked the hunger out of you. It made me feel a bit sick. <laughs> right, well, we're going to go back to the van and drive on. Do you know what? I haven't actually hit my head on the van since we've left. I'm just hitting it everywhere else. Back to the van. Famous last word, she probably hit her head in the way in this time. Bellef Rubio. <laughs> you wouldn't guess that this is the 15th take of this. Well guys, it's actually been a week and a half since that little segment yesterday. Um, after we left uh, Vileth, Vileth, Blanco, we drove on to Kular just for a night stop. And then the following day, we actually had a, had a pretty difficult day. We were attending one of our friends' memorials. So we wanted to go somewhere that was comfortable and safe and we felt sort of relaxed in. So we ended up going back to Velez Rubio. And we ended up staying there for a week. Now, completely sort of nothing stupendous about the place, but it just had a really nice vibe. The, the park up was great. Had a fantastic library, so if you're needing to work, absolutely brilliant. Yep. And also it had a real nice community feel to the park up. Yeah. Beside a park, overlooking the, the mountains, very nice. Yeah, well, you got a couple of big long runs in as well. And then we left there and we actually did a couple of pretty fun things. They won't appear in this vlog, they'll be in one of the 100 vlogs. One of them turned out to be one of Nicola's. Oh, probably the best day I've had on this trip, actually, since we started. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I smiled the whole day. You've got to watch it. It's so much fun. Yeah, fantastic. And then we have now brought ourselves to Guadix, uh, which is in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Now, as it turns out, looks like we've been here before. As we were driving through, we were both like, this looks really familiar. Yeah, but I don't think we stopped last time. So we pulled in last night, stayed over just in a, in a car park, and we brought ourselves into the, um, the old town to do a little bit of exploration. Um, I think over the next couple of days, the weather is supposed to get quite chilly. So we thought we'd get out and explore today while the temperature is still quite, quite high. But first up, nope, not a coffee. Somebody needs squeezed. And we're going to check out this village's library as well, because uh, this town's library, because I think we do have some more work to do later on this afternoon. But for now, squeezing time. We'll catch up in a bit. So I'm on map reading duties, and I must have brought us up the biggest hill in Gordix. Gordix. I'll have to take the mickey out of you, I don't know how to say it. Gwadix. Gwadix. <sighs> and by the way, Guadix isn't really living up to our expectations. Maybe this is why we drove through it last time. There was a Roman theatre, but it's not much of a Roman theatre. No. I'm sure it was spectacular it's free. this day. <laughs> but we're now climbing up to go and visit the cave houses, the troglodyte houses. It's easy for me to say, the troglodyte houses. Oh, and it's up a hill. Let's go. Thought she was talking to me there. She just found herself a random dog.
Well, apparently there is absolutely loads to see in Guadix, so oh. I don't know what we're missing. But over there, there's, there's loads, different important churches, largest concentration of cave dwellings in Europe. Um, the cathedral, yeah, apparently it's really important, but... I'd be more interested if you said largest concentration of cakes. Well, I think I've found a cafe over there. <laughs> there's always anyway, a cafe. Let's go and check out the viewpoint, the yes. Mirador first and foremost. These are the cave houses of Guadix. That's actually not bad. The views over to Guadix itself, the cathedral. And loads, if not all, of the little cave houses are still inhabited. Do, 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 do. One being pointed at. There's even a chair up here. Look. Looks like the director's chair. Okay. And we can actually see in the distance, you're not going to be able to see it, but the higher peaks of the Sierra Nevada, which is where we were last year. I'll put a link up there somewhere. I have assumed the director's chair. So again, like a few of the villages and areas in this in this vicinity, like a couple of movies were actually filmed here. I'll maybe put the name up if I can remember what it was. Emerald City, the second Wizard of Oz film. There was a second Wizard of Oz? Apparently. <laughs> Coming to an airplane seat near you soon. Okay, we completely stand corrected. Guadix is definitely worth coming to visit, if only to come in and visit the church and then you get access to actually one of the little cave houses as well. A little bit claustrophobic, mind you. Two tiny little windows. Yeah, but probably keeps you nice and warm in winter and nice and cool in summer. But yeah, worth coming up to the, uh, the cave houses and coming into the one that's next to the little church. And sorry about the squeaking, my boots seem to be taking on a bit of a they're going, oh, maybe that's my knees actually. But yeah, you've got to watch your head as you mosey through. Yeah. Like a little tiny window. Another one in here. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Wow. Just trying to manoeuvre back down the stairs again without, oh, goodness me. I'm assuming this is going to be the kitchen because it looks like it's where the chimney is as well. So. I tell you what, if I lived here, I'd have permanent concussion. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true that. I think we escaped just at the right time. There's a school group wandering around as well, <laughs> and um, I think they had about 30 people in there, so <laughs> oxygen on short supply. But yeah, come to Guadix even just to visit the little cave house. Fantastic. Well, good morning, guys. Just a little outro as we wrap things up. And a little reminder to ourselves that staying put for a little bit of an extended period, I think we were in Vilith Rubio for almost a week, is actually quite good for us. I think it stops you feeling a bit more homesick actually if you're somewhere for a few days because it starts to become a bit more familiar and that's quite a nice feeling I think. Might not make for the most exciting <laughs> YouTube content. Sorry about but, that. <laughs> but as we've always maintained these videos are for our memories first and foremost and I think having every so often a little bit of downtime just for us to catch up with things and chill out especially in a little free air such as Vilith Rubio is um, a no, no bad thing. And also, I think because it was such a great little community, the way it's laid out, and yeah. it just it fosters people chatting and getting to know each other. Really and again, that, that all helps with the sort of social isol isolation you can get on the road. Indeed. Well, we are about to move on, and we are heading towards our next dog sit, which is up in the mountains. But I guess that, as always, will be a story for next time. Right guys, well once again, thanks a lot for following along. I've just realised I've stopped doing my wave. So the wave's back. Oh, there's people out there cheering, jumping up and down. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for that later. <laughs> right guys, thanks for watching and until next time, take care, adios. Oh, we got a bonus wave.